But the biggest thing for me on this film was that it's about people and it's about giving people dignity. It's about saying, you know what, the body of Christ is bigger than we even understand. And if we can reach across the aisle in many different ways of perceiving someone else, truly embrace them for who they are and say, we love you. One of the best ways of doing that is letting someone tell their story. Well, you know, uh, the stuff that Drew's done before has been very, very different than the usual. With this one, I like that it's telling a story more than, it's not just aesthetic, it's, there is a story that's clearly being told. It's a pretty simple story. We, we wanted to make it as simple as possible, being that we knew that a lot of people would be, if not uncomfortable, it would be, it'd be new to see actors with Down syndrome. Um, personally, my little sister is three and she has Down syndrome as well. So when I learned that Dom was doing this story, I was so excited I was on the crew because it's something that's very dear to my heart. Well, the story is about Jack, who is a poet and a writer and an artist. And so Jack, is, his wife is very, very sick and he's struggling with the reality of, of what this probably means for him. He just finds out that his wife is sick and so he's just trying to find hope or reconciliation and he pretty much stumbles into a church one night that his wife's a part of, you know, he, he's not a faith-based guy. And he starts talking to this pastor and the pastor just says, let me tell you a story. It's as simple as that, you know, we learned that in film school, let's tell a story. He tells him the story of this woman who has a foster home for those with special needs and um, then we start hearing the story of Jenny. Jenny is an incredible young woman uh, with Down syndrome, loves the Lord, has been an, uh, really an inspiration for the cast and crew. Okay, well, first I got involved, and I said, okay, let me pray about it. And I really clearly hear the Lord that said that you and I will do this together. This film will be incredible because my Holy Spirit is, is totally on it. And what's been really exciting for me personally was that I know how busy people are right now, and that people would even say, we'll come for a day. Because what that, what that said to me was, you know, we want to be a part of this thing. I, I know one crew member said specifically, you know, I don't have time, honestly. But this is something that I haven't seen and I, I just want to see, see what happens, you know. And I said, let's do it. The way I think about this movie, I think it's really something to do. To have fun and relax and be yourself. Enjoy it. I think you should enjoy the moment. Dom has this presence on set. He's just very patient, and he has a way of, of being able to just relate the situation to the to the actor and kind of pull them into it. And he's constantly working with them. So I think that's a great strength of Dom's as well, is that he's able to pull these performances from people who aren't really experienced. Working with Dominic is it, 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 a a puzzle to, 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 um, because I feel like that we we're real family. But what's been exciting about working with Jenny and Taylor and so many others is realizing how much they've spoken into our lives in just a short period of time. And that's what happens to the character. And that's kind of what's a fun thing, so. And I think it's very challenging to be in the movie for the first time. But after a while, you get used to it. And then you find out medium, the, your happy place. You know, and I think that's, that's what is really great about this film is that, you know, yeah, um, even though Jack is losing his wife, he didn't see that whole other side to his wife where his wife would pour into um, the local church and the needs of that church and a huge need of that church was special needs. This project has completely changed and educated me, you know, when it comes to people with special needs. You know, before, I, I didn't know how to treat somebody with special needs, basically, and now I am completely comfortable. And it is, uh, I mean, completely changed me for the rest of my life. This was something that God had put on our heart as a group, and we were faithful in it, and we'll see what it comes out in the end. But uh, in the moment, it was about just trying to love people. And again, I don't have a pulpit, I don't have a classroom, all I've got is a camera. This is the only way I could get people together to try to do something. So 
We'll see if anybody enjoys it. Hopefully they entertain, hopefully it inspires, but more importantly, it was about these few people this weekend.